Curse the alley dies, leaving behind a massive real estate empire. Kirsty Louise Alley was born in Wichita, Kansas on January 12, 1951. She was an actress, producer, television presenter, and more. She first rose to fame in the 1980s for her roles in Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan and Rebecca Howe on the NBC comedy sitcom Cheers from 1987 to 1993. Pull this off and you can have anything you want. That was all well and good. Thank you. How do you plan on getting the bride and groom back together? I'm going to rely on my wits. Well, you're halfway there. You better believe it. <laughs> Here's a happy pair. Say cheeseburger. Uh, all right, that was a good one. Even with Miss Al's eyes kind of gimpy. For her performance in that role, she has won a Golden Globe and an Emmy Award. Kirsty would go on to have roles in additional movies and television shows during the 1990s. Including Luke Who's Talking, along with its two sequels, It Takes Two with the Olsen Twins. Well, ladies, what do you have to say for yourselves? So kiss already! And so many others. Crazy. On Showtime's Fat Actress in 2005, Kirsty portrayed a fictitious version of herself. I go to the kitchen because... Oprah's gonna come and do an extreme makeover of the kitchen. She called? She's gonna do the remodel? No, but I, 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 I'm ready when she... And she has also made appearances on a couple of reality TV shows. Overall, she has undoubtedly remained engaged in Hollywood over the years. The renowned actress and comedian has amassed a sizable amount of wealth over the course of her several decades in television and film industries. Her current estimated net worth is in the range of $40 million. She was also a mother to two children, but tragically passed away at the age of 71 on December 5, 2022, leaving behind a vast real estate empire that anybody could only want to own. Today, we'll be looking at both Kirstie's distinctive Palazzo style estate in Los Angeles, which she has owned since the year 2000, and her cottage in Isleboro, Maine. Rumor has it fit that Kirsty put one of her luxurious houses for sale in the seedy area of Los Angeles. And since finding a buyer hasn't been easy, she had to make a $1.2 million price cut and sold it from $11.9 to $10.7 million. Despite this, she still stands to make a sizable profit on the home as she paid about $2.9 million for the big mansion back in the year 2000. This mansion, which was built in 1932, has an intricate style with Italian influences, is distinctive from the other old Hollywood homes in the area, and was dubbed a palazzo. The actress's home is located on the storied Aberdeen Avenue and backs up directly onto the well-known Griffith Park, which features almost an acre of grass and vegetation. She also has a lemur habitat on the property, which is a special perk of the house. Kirstie's gorgeously decorated residence, which is 8,622 square feet in size, has six bedrooms, five full bathrooms, and two half baths, which can be found at the end of a lengthy gated road. Many of the villa's original historical figures, including hand carved woodwork, painted murals, gilded moldings, and ornamented fireplaces, have all been preserved. Just looking at the pictures of Kirstie's house gives the impression of it being a palace. The circular entry gallery of Kirstie's house is adorned with blue tone murals connecting to the public areas. While some of the smaller common areas have lovely fireplaces, the larger room or salon has wood paneled walls, vaulted ceilings, and a lavish chandelier. Her kitchen has been redone with an island, tiled walls, a high vaulted ceiling, and includes modern appliances, making it one of the greatest kitchens you've ever seen. Even the chandelier on the central island is magnificent. The butler's pantry, sun-drenched breakfast nook, and outdoor kitchen, which are all accessible through French doors, have all been retained. Two of Kirstie's bathrooms featured the most remarkable features, one of which featured images of undersea life with dangling jellyfish tentacles. The other, which is modeled after a tropical garden, is filled with blooming flowers. The Palazzo Mansion's bedrooms have traditional characteristics as well. Many have chandeliers, 
arches, and sizable adjoining patios. Naturally, Kirsty's master suite, which is also tastefully designed, is the roomiest. The lavish old world gardens outside the home features fountains, grottos, ponds, and exquisite landscaping. Just like any good celebrity house, Kirsty also has a pool with a fountain covered by trees, which she has undoubtedly gotten to appreciate throughout the years of living there. Even though Kirsty's house has a lofty asking price, it isn't currently the most expensive property in that zip code. There are a handful that cost about $20 million and are, to put it mildly, opulent residences. Kirsty has also lived in Isleboro, Maine for a long time. Although the actress apparently sold her most recent home there in early 2020, she had been a resident of the island for 30 years before closing on the sale. Even though she was at the height of her fame when she visited the island in the 1990s, the inhabitants said she fit in well and was genuinely down to earth. Initially, she and her ex-husband moved to Isleboro together, but following their divorce in 1997, her ex ended up owning the home. The flowery, ladylike cottage that Kirsty just built on Isleboro is unlike anything else you've probably ever seen. According to public records, her refuge on Maine's scenic coast was constructed in 1993 and she bought it in 2003 for roughly $1.15 million. On Pendleton Point, Kirsty's house offered a secluded 16 acres with a stunning shoreline. If you've never heard of Isleboro, you're not alone. It is an extremely peaceful neighborhood that can only be reached by ferry or private aircraft. Although it's not your typical hot destination for celebrities, John Travolta formerly lived there on occasion. According to the listing papers, the 12-room house combines the elegance of the past with modern beauty. Its interior is 3,400 square feet, includes 5 bedrooms, and 4.5 bathrooms. There are several cozier corners, fireplaces, and windows throughout the construction. It has high ceilings, unique woodwork, and other features that make it the ideal getaway. While the overtly flowery and frilly interior decor is undoubtedly an acquired taste, it does feature a lot of pink, including a pink kitchen. There are pink and white beamed ceilings, matching colored walls, and some that have flowery wallpaper. A few distinct living and dining rooms with floral-themed furniture, fireplaces, and stunning chandeliers can be found in nearly every room, as well as a country kitchen with Viking brand and vintage-styled appliances. You can most definitely say that Kirsty's cottage looks like it came straight out of a Pinterest board. The major living spaces include wood plank floors, and the formal dining room has a built-in buffet. There is also a big pantry with rows of open storage, a vintage wash sink, and a mobile work island. Similar feminine and powdery aesthetics can be seen in all of the bathrooms and bedrooms giving the impression of an opulent bed and breakfast. One of which is covered and features an outdoor fireplace as well as attractive and well-kept gardens. Kirsty's house is situated directly on the sea with the view of the coastline accessible from the dining terrace off the main living room. Lastly, this beachfront property is completed with a sizable deck and pier. Although Kirsty tells the neighborhood that she is not yet through with Isleboro, her property supposedly sold for the asking price of $2.3 million. She wrote in a Facebook group post, quote, I love Isleboro and will miss you all. My family and I have some of the most memorable times of our lives here. We hope to return for more summers in the future. To any of you here who have touched our lives, thank you. End quote. Kirsty Alley once said, You'll never be disappointed if you always keep an eye on uncharted territory, where you'll be challenged and growing and having fun. So there you have it, future billionaires, the real estate of actress and comedian Kirstie Alley. What did you think of her two unique properties? Leave them in the comments below. Keep tuning in to our channel, Luxury Max, to find out more about the latest reward trends of the Super Rich, where we will be creating quality content videos for you to enjoy. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and feel free to comment down on what we should make a video about next. Thank you for listening. And we'll see you guys in the next video.